what's new in shortcut version 23.11.29 let's dive in and find out there are a number of changes in this version of shortcut there are four main things i want to cover the first is the video bitrate so if you select a video clip and click on properties and you go over to this menu there's a new view bitrate menu and when you select this you have this a chart that comes up and it shows you the actual bit rate of your video so this is actually a very useful tool if you want to see the quality of your video in the sense of looking at the bit rates if you look at this clip here I haven't added any filters to this there is no fade at, at all when I play the video you see that it have a dip to color and through every clip you will actually dip to color and change back to the other clip and the reason for this is this new feature here uh, with this filter which is the track auto fade video which means it applies on the track level if i turn it off this effect will be off all right so you see this it is a very convenient tool when you want to automatically fade your video between clips the next is rectangular select Click anywhere on your timeline and select multiple clips and your clips are all selected. It makes moving your clips so much easier. If you do not want to use this rectangle selection feature, you can turn it off in the settings, timeline and turn off rectangle selection. I am just going to leave it on because I think it is a good thing. The last feature is the keyframe is in and is out. This is how it looks like. This is a sample of the text. Let me just show you by playing this video. So now you have those movement of, it could be text, it could be other things on your screen that you move in, uh, you kind of move in slowly at the beginning and then it will accelerate and then slow down with a nice ease in and ease out movement to make your video look so much better. So if you were to go to the text and go to the keyframes, this is what it looks like. So now you have different types of keyframes. In the past, your keyframe will either be whole, linear or smooth. But now you have is in and is out. So I have already selected this one. And if you hover over it, you can see it is is out sinusoidal. Let's look at change it to is in sinusoidal. And you will have this effect where the text moving fast. And it's kind of slow down and then it moves out again. Right, so there are various types of is in and is out. It includes things like sinusoidal, quadratic, cubic, and exponential as well. You can use it for any filter that has keyframes in it. So these are the new things in shortcut version 23.11.29. And check out what's on the screen right now for the next shortcut tip.